Hey guys, welcome back to another Dollar Tree sublimation video. Thank you guys for coming over to watch this video. As you guys obviously read in the title, today I'm going to be sublimating on these Dollar Tree napkins. I have seen this done several times with other napkins. Also on these Dollar Tree napkins, they were white napkins that they used. Most of the time you see them sublimating on the white napkins. And for some reason I picked up the gray napkins. I'm not really sure why I did that, but we are going to try it out today. Logically, you would pick white out, but I'm not really sure why I picked gray. I think I was in a hurry. I just picked these up from the Dollar Tree. They're 20 luncheon napkins and they're measured 13 by 13 inch. I did want to try it out for myself and then show you guys obviously how it works out. So let's go ahead and get started. I do have my coffee already, just in case you guys wondered. And let's go ahead and get this design printed out and pressed onto these napkins. But before we get started, if you guys enjoy this video, give me a big thumbs up. Also subscribe down below, hit the little bell so you guys get notified when we post our next video. And if you're looking for sublimation designs, I do have my link down below. We have a PNG shop for t-shirts and then also a PNG shop for tumblers. So if you guys are needing some new designs, be sure to go check out our links down below and let's get right into this video. All right guys, and before we head over to the computer, I want to go ahead and load our paper into the printer. And like always, I use the A-Sub sublimation paper. I have not tried other sublimation papers. Maybe I will in future videos, but I've always used the brand from Amazon, which is the A-Sub sublimation paper, 125G. And today, since we are doing small napkins, eight and a half by 11 inch is perfect. And always check for 125G, it prints out the best. And so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and load this into our Epson ET15000. We've had this Epson ET15000 for over a year now and have not had any problems with it. We've refilled the black ink so far and it looks like we're needing to go ahead and fill our other colors, which will be really, really simple. I will try to include a video of us refilling it, but I'm gonna go ahead and load our paper in. Like I said, if you guys are new to sublimation, this is the paper that we like to use and it just looks like this on the back. And then you want to put your paper down in the tray main feed with the A sub print facing up. And when you close the cassette, this printer automatically picks up what size of paper that you're using. So right now we have the letter eight and a half by 11 plain paper and it is ready to go. And right now I have our press preheating to 380 degrees and we'll be pressing the napkins for about 50 seconds at 380. So while that's preheating, we're gonna go ahead and head upstairs and print off our design. And we always have people asking about our press and it's the 16 by 20 digital swinger and it's the digital Knights brand. I do have this press linked down below. It is on Amazon. Um, it is a little more pricier, but if you're looking for a 16 by 20, this is definitely a good press to go with. We do have our smaller press sitting over here. I forget which brand it is, but it is the Sister Heat Press, and I think we got this one at Michael's. It is a smaller press, and we just don't really use it that often. Maybe we'll give it away in a giveaway one day, but yeah, we don't really use it anymore. It probably would work really well with these napkins, but today we're just gonna be using our big press right over here. Enough talking about presses, let's go ahead and go upstairs. So I just finished making these napkin designs. And the first one says Selena's seventh birthday and then Selena's seventh birthday in green and black. Wanted to make it in pink and blue first and then also in the green and black just because it is a gray napkin. And I want to already have them printed out and probably press them at the same time just so I can see the difference in making a colored print on a gray napkin. And then also the green and black which will probably come out the best on the gray napkin, I'm not really sure but I'm just guessing, so that is why I made two different colors. And we're gonna go ahead and print these off, and I'm probably gonna do this theme for Selena's birthday because it's actually in September, so I'll have these designs made already. Now, if you guys are looking for designs just like these two right here, be sure to go check out my link in the description so you can get them custom made. I can design these for you guys if you need one for a birthday party. Napkins are a 13 by 13 opened up, and they are actually six and a half inches when they're folded up into a napkin shape. So the size is actually 6.5 by 6.5, not 13. So I did change that just now. And I'm gonna go ahead and print like always. We're gonna go to file, print, Epson 15,000, default settings, copies one, US letter eight and a half by 11. Um, Auto rotate, I usually just turn off. 
scaled at 100% because we already have our custom size to 6.5 by 6.5. So we just want to print at 100%. And when you buy my designs on Etsy, if you guys are printing to the same size items that I print in my videos, then all you have to do is scale to 100%. My images are already sized to fit the items. So if you guys purchase the design, just scale to 100% for the napkins, six and a half by six and a half, basically the 13 inch napkin. But when it is folded, it measures six and a half by six and a half. Media quality best. Layout flip horizontally. And then we are going to media quality again, best. Check our preview. And I'm gonna print the colored one out the same way. And then I'll cut both of them out and get them ready to press. So we'll see you guys in a minute down at the press. All ready to press guys. I went ahead and opened up our napkins and the designs look like they came out perfectly. I will say that it looks like my ink is getting pretty low. That design right there is supposed to be more green and this is supposed to be more pink and teal. It could be that it's not pressed yet. A lot of times the print just looks dull, but I do need to go ahead and fill the ink on this printer. So I will have that video probably coming up in a few days, but let's go ahead and press these guys. I'm super excited to see how they turn out. So I went ahead and just folded over a big sheet of butcher paper for the bottom. Let's grab both of our napkins. And I am gonna try to press them together. There we go. And let me grab the designs. I'm going to flip them over onto the napkin. Guys, ignore my nails. I'm planning on ordering me a bunch of press on nails just so I can have some for these videos. But I've been planting in our garden, like I said in our last video, so my nails do not look cute right now. And I have a hard time recording and so I think I have them as straight as I'm going to get them and I'm not going to tape them because I don't know what type of mess that will be with tape and napkins. So I'm just going to leave it untaped and we're going to grab our other piece of butcher paper. I'm going to go ahead and fold it in half as well just to make sure it doesn't leak through onto the press. Piece of butcher paper down over all of it. And I'm going to go ahead and press for 50 seconds at 380 degrees. I wanted to show you guys it is kind of smoking. I'm not really sure if that's okay, but yeah, hopefully everything's going okay. <laughs> I think we have about 10 more seconds or 20. All right, guys, and hopefully this did not just burn these napkins up. I am super excited for this. If it came out good, I'm definitely gonna make these for Selena's birthday. check the green one. Okay, well actually, that one did come out better. And guys, now that I'm looking at it, I think I could probably press those for longer. So I'm probably gonna turn off this video and try it one more time and I'm gonna press them. I'm gonna go print off a couple more. This actually did pretty good. This one, for some reason, the pink is not as vibrant as I was thinking. So, but yeah, let me go ahead and print off a few more of these green ones and see how they do. All right guys, so I went ahead and printed out two more designs. I did go ahead and turn the saturation up all the way 100% so that the colors would be super, super bright. I'm thinking it's because the napkins are gray and then also my printer is low on ink, very, very low on ink. There are the two napkins that we did earlier, super faded, not that dark. So we're gonna go ahead and press at 400 degrees for a full 50 seconds, maybe a full 60. All right guys, and I just closed the press and we're gonna go ahead and leave it in there for a full 50 seconds. Guys, okay, so I went ahead and left the press closed for 60 seconds. So it was longer than I normally press anything. For paper, let's go ahead and take this off. So that's kind of a good thing, obviously, because that means the color is transferred. Be sure to put a double layer of butcher paper so you guys don't get any of this ink onto your press. That's a little bit better. I for sure think it's because it is a gray napkin. I mean, that's pretty good for a gray napkin to me. But I believe if it was a white napkin, it would come out so much better. And also if my ink was all full, I'm sure it would come out perfectly. 
But guys, I just wanted to go ahead and try this video out and I will fill my ink tomorrow or tonight. Uh oh, something stuck. Okay, I think that this one came out so much better and I'm sure that this would work so much better on a white napkin. Once again, these are from Dollar Tree. Definitely print on white napkins. Now, if you guys do like how this black and green one came out on the gray napkin, you could always get the gray napkins. But for any other designs, I would definitely go with a white napkin. And then here is the green one side by side. So yeah, these definitely came out a lot better. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you guys get notified when I post our next video. And I'll see you guys in the next one.